More than 950 days ago, mantle of leadership in Nigeria was transferred from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressive Congress, APC-led national government under the leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari. In the lead-up to the historic election of March 28, 2015, President Muhammadu Buhari and his party committed themselves to fulfilling 222 campaign promises which cuts across several sectors of Nigeria's economy. In the oil and gas sector, the president and his party promised to revive and reactivate our minimally performing refineries to optimum capacity to boost domestic production of energy in the country. A review of Nigeria's National Petroleum Corporation NNPC Monthly Financial and Operations Report revealed that since assumption of office on the 29th of May 2015, the three domestic refineries, KRPC, PHRC, WRPC, have never recorded a combined utilization capacity of up to 40%. The average percentage recorded in the first two years in office was 14.11% with the highest percentage of 36.73% recorded in January 2017. From June to September 2017, the three refineries have been experiencing a decline in their utilization capacity, having recorded consolidated utilization capacity of 12.73%, 11.94%, 9.50%, and 6.14% in June, July, August, and September 2017, respectively. In 2016, NNPC opened bids for co-location of refineries, of which two Nigerian private firms have been reportedly selected as at August 2017 to build 217,000 barrels per day refineries in Port Harcourt and Wari. The president inaugurated nine committees on the rehabilitation of refineries, and NNPC is contemplating to spend $1.8 billion for turnaround maintenance of existing refineries. Available data from the NNPC Monthly Financial and Operation Reports show that from January to September 2017, the government has recorded operating deficit of the refineries to the tune of 2.81 billion naira. In January, combined value output was 99.13 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses 95.76 billion naira, while 3.37 billion naira approximately was made. In February, combined value output was 70.97 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses 71.5 billion naira, where a deficit of 0.53 billion was recorded. In March, combined value output was 50.44 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses was 47.04 billion naira, and 3.4 billion naira was made. In April, Combined value output was 60.68 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses was 59.1 billion naira, and 1.58 billion naira was recorded. In May, 62 billion naira was the combined value output. 59.32 billion naira was the associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses. 2.68 billion naira approximately was made. June. Combined value output was 37.17 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses 33.83 billion naira. 3.34 billion naira approximately was made. In July, we had as combined value output 24.83 billion naira. 33.34 billion naira was the associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses. A deficit of 8.51 billion naira was recorded. August had the combined value output at 25.10 billion naira and the associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses as 29.73 billion naira and a deficit of 4.63 billion naira recorded. In September, combined value output was 18.41 billion naira. Associated crude plus freight cost and operational expenses 21.92 billion naira and a deficit of 3.51 billion naira was recorded. In total, a deficit of 2.81 billion naira. Do we need to spend yet another $1.8 billion in addition to $1.746 billion spent in the first 16 years into the Fourth Republic to revive the refineries, or should we go the way of privatizing them?
Nigeria was confronted with yet another fuel scarcity towards the end of 2017. The continued fuel crisis re-emphasizes the need for the PMB-led administration to make practical effort towards fulfilling the campaign promise of enhancing optimal operation of local refineries. While the country patiently awaits the completion of Dangote refinery in Lagos, with capacity to refine 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day, proactive measures should be taken to address perennial maintenance challenges plaguing the country's refineries.